it toughed it out against Saddam Hussein's huge armored fleets in the Gulf War. Ten years later, it was back there for Operation Iraqi Freedom. And once again, this tank proved itself nearly indestructible. In fact, this was the only tank operating in the Gulf that did not suffer a single loss to enemy fire. I spoke to a gunner from the Scots, Royal Scots Dragoons. He thought it was the best tank that he'd ever seen, been in, wanted to be in it. And I think if it was a girl, he would have married it. The British Challenger tank, first produced in 1982. Top speed, 37 miles per hour. Range 340 miles. Condor V12 engine gives Challenger a power to weight ratio of 19.2 horsepower per ton. Armor thickness, classified. Primary weapon, 120 millimeter rifled gun. Challenger really is a first rate tank and Great Britain is fortunate to have that vehicle. During the first Desert Storm Desert Shield, the early 90s, that vehicle claimed a hit at 5,200 meters. With its powerful gun and computerized firing system, the latest model Challenger can attack a moving target the size of a football three miles away. The crew can fire at three different targets within just 15 seconds. If you ask a British soldier, who uses Challenger, what he thinks of Challenger, he will freely tell you it is the best tank he's ever seen or has ever used. It might be because I'm a Brit, but I believe that the Challenger 2 is the best main battle tank in the world at the moment. And I think you just have to look back at uh, Operation Telic, as the British would call it, or Operation Iraqi Freedom, as the Americans would say, and just look at the success rate how many Abrams tanks were destroyed by Fedayeen? A handful. How many Challengers were destroyed? None. This is unquestionably a seriously tough tank. In one engagement, the Challenger was hit 14 times by rocket propelled grenades and by one Milan anti-tank weapon, which happened to destroy the site. The vehicle had to disengage to have its site refitted. It was back in service again within six hours. This durability is thanks to Challenger's top secret high-tech armor that protects the tank even from high explosive shells. It's chobble armor. It's a laminate type of armor where the exact bix is a secret. You can fire a high explosive anti-tank round which forms a jet uh, when it hits and that jet penetrates. There are ceramic tiles in this armor. Just exactly how they're put in there is a, is a secret, but it disperses that jet of flame over the armor. But the Challenger cannot appear at the very top of our list. This is a tank featuring the very latest technology and armor, but only 386 of them have been built. In such small numbers, it cannot be called a world-beating tank. The Challenger scores very good marks for its world-class armor, and the maximum on firepower. The rifled 120 millimeter gun is a record breaker. Marks are down for mobility and further down for production rating. This tank gets a low average for fear factor. It's an impressive machine, but there aren't enough of them to make an enemy truly fearful. We are currently surveying our viewers to learn more about you. Please take a few minutes and visit our website at discovery.com slash podcast and click on the survey link found at the top of the page. Again, that's discovery.com slash podcast, and you can complete the survey anonymously.